So, Colby, why did you decide to go to the fair? What were you looking for? Uh, I decided to go to the fair because I knew that it would be a great networking opportunity for myself. And in order to make those connections, it's a lot easier to be face-to-face -face with employers and to really have that communication with them. So if you have any questions that might not be answered by going to their website online, uh, sure, that might be a lot easier to do from your dorm room, but it's easier for them to explain it to you as a real person than it is for you to be reading text online. And what's your major and your year and what are you looking to do? So I'm a senior this year and I'm a dual major in digital media arts and PR and advertising. Originally I wanted to go and become a graphic designer, work for an agency someday, which is still in the back of my mind, but I interned this summer with Eaton Park and they really opened my eyes to community relations and building that relationship with those in the community and different um, different communities around the area in order to help them and, and help other people. So I'm really looking for somewhere that has the heart of a nonprofit that I can I can definitely make sure that I'm making a difference. And what did you do to prepare for the fair? So for the fair I went online, you know, I researched, I pre-registered, I made sure that I knew who was going to the fair and there's tons of employers. Uh, and all different majors are being hunted to, so that definitely helps everybody. But I, I researched who I wanted to talk to, had my list of top ten, and then I also made a list of top three that I wanted to go to first to make my best impression. Uh, and then I picked out my wardrobe, make sure I could dress for success, and uh, went in with, with a lot of confidence. And what are the employers like when you talk to them? So it can be a little nerve-wracking showing up. There's a ton of students there. You might not know anybody if you went by yourself. You might only know one or two people. But the employers really are not as intimidating as they look. Um, just because they're really tall, they might be really well-dressed, you know that they're professionals, doesn't mean that they're not people. Uh, you can approach their booth, and they're there specifically to talk to you. They want to talk to you. So as long as you go up to their booth and show a little bit of interest, they will be willing to hold a conversation. And they're really nice people. They're, they're people just like you and me. And how did you follow up? Uh, a lot of times what I'll do is, on, well, on my resume, first of all, has all my contact information. I even myself have business cards for myself, and I'll give those out if I'm really interested in that employer. But then after the fair, you want to make sure that you email them, which I do very regularly to keep in contact, and even add them on LinkedIn. Um, the recruiters themselves, the company, you know, make sure that you follow that, that company on LinkedIn, and even uh, your school's resource, too. A lot of times you can follow the... Um, employer on your school's resource online. And what are, are some of the things you should not do? Uh, I would say definitely, well first of all you want to make a really good impression so make sure that you're showing your best self. Uh, you don't want to go dressed in shorts, sneakers, and, and a t-shirt. You definitely want to wear a tie, wear a shirt. If you're a girl, you know, wear a, wear a suit coat. Um, and long pants are always always best, you know, if you're unsure what to wear. Um, you always want to make sure you shake their hand, make sure you're very polite, show up with a smile, have questions ready. Uh, don't show up and say, you know, what are you all about? You want to make sure that you know that information before you step up to the booth. And just make sure that you have a, have a good time because, you know, they're there, again, like to talk to you. So you know that they want to talk to you. Don't be afraid to talk to them. Sounds great. Anything else you want to add? I don't think so. All right.